A major reason for jQuery's popularity is its use of CSS selectors to obtain a reference to elements in a page. If you have a good command of CSS selectors, especially advanced CSS3 selectors, you're well on your way to becoming an expert user of jQuery. In this lesson, I'll show you how to select the document body and add a new paragraph dynamically to the existing content. I've already attached the jQuery core library to the page just before the closing body tag, so I now need to create another script block in which I'll put the jQuery document ready handler. So script Now the document ready handler is something that you use so often I have created a snippet for it which I've saved in my snippets panel which is that little icon here and I'm just going to double click and there's my document ready handler. As the name suggests the document ready handler runs code immediately that the document is ready. If you want to create other code that doesn't need to run immediately when the document is ready you can create it down here within the script block below the document ready handler. But what I'm going to be doing now, I need to run immediately that the page loads, so it goes inside the document ready handler. Just about everything that you do in jQuery begins with the dollar sign. The dollar sign is actually shorthand for the jQuery JavaScript object. So after the dollar sign, open parenthesis, Dreamweaver brings up a couple of code hints. They're not relevant to what we want to do at the moment. What I want is to select the body, so I need to use the word body. In other words, an ordinary tag selector for, from CSS, not within angle brackets, but within quotes. It doesn't matter whether you use single or double quotes. I'm going to use single quotes. And as soon as I start typing, Dreamweaver brings up a list of all HTML elements. So I can just go down there and select body very quickly. So it's helping me select the correct tag very quickly. Put my cursor outside of the closing quote and then a closing parenthesis. Now to add something to an existing element, you use the jQuery append method and you access jQuery methods by adding a period and then you see that Dreamweaver brings up all the jQuery hints. So if I just type APP, that brings me to append. And I'm just going to use the first one there. And what I'm going to do is to type in some HTML. So I'm going to type P. And this paragraph was added dynamically. And then a closing p tag. You see Dreamweaver is helping all the time. It knows that this jQuery method will accept HTML as its argument. So just to finish off, move outside the closing quote, add a closing parenthesis and a semicolon. And that's all I need to do to add an extra paragraph dynamically to the body of the page. Let's just save the page and test it in live view. And there you can see that the paragraph was added dynamically. And if you switch on live code, you'll see that I've got the jQuery function down here. And what has happened is that the HTML that I gave as the argument to the append method has been added into the document object model dynamically by jQuery. Now just for comparison let me show you how you would do that same thing using standard JavaScript. You need to write all that code in JavaScript to do the same thing. Let's just show you. And the live code works in the same way. So that helps explain why jQuery is known as the write less, do more JavaScript library. So to recap, you access page elements by passing a CSS selector in quotes to the dollar shorthand for the jQuery object. You can then apply jQuery methods to the element to manipulate the document object model 
and change the page content dynamically.